Hi, my name is Andrew Sissel, and I work for the Community Health Worker Program at City College of San Francisco. And today, I just want to do a brief overview of the certificate and give you an idea of the course sequencing. Um, and first off, I should mention it's not listed here, but we have a prerequisite course. Um, it's called Health 59 Introduction to the Community Health Worker Field. It's a one unit course uh, that's usually offered in the summer or um, late in the semester. So um, City College of San Francisco, we do run on uh, the fall and spring semester timeline uh, and a summer session as well. Uh, so just to show you here in the center, this kind of is an overview of the community health worker requirements. Um, the health 201 to 203 W series, that, those are the core classes. And those are the ones that um, do require the prerequisite. We have a number of elective classes, uh, many of which correspond to these areas of emphasis for um, community health workers. Those electives are open to everyone. So lots of CHWs that are currently working in the field, they come and just take an elective course. Uh, maybe they've completed the certificate years ago and they just want to refresh and get re-networked with folks um, in our elective classes or they're just checking out uh, these different areas. So I'll go through um, for the general certificate. Uh, our program's recommendations uh, for one or more electives uh, are uh, the Health 64 course, that's health education trainings, or uh, Health 66, that's the chronic conditions management class. Uh, moving down to the re-entry CHW, uh, we have Again, the chronic conditions management class. Uh, and then more importantly, I think is the Health 110, which is Health Impacts of Incarceration. That's a three unit class and it could serve as your main elective or your um, elective for this area of emphasis. Um, which the area of emphasis, these, uh, we just really like to highlight these because they were specialty certificates and we had to uh, downsize a bit. So we we're just um, finding a way to include these areas uh, as talking points for CHWs and to keep the courses going, more importantly, and the topics. Uh, and we are integrating these topics in the core classes, the principles and practices uh, of CHWs. Uh, moving down to youth advocate, we have Health 64, again, that's the health education trainings class, and Health 65, that is youth development and leadership. Over to elder advocacy, we have Health 10, that's health and aging. There's always several sections of that every semester. Uh, health 87, assessment and services for older adults. That's a three unit class that we've had trouble offering because of enrollment. Um, but it is listed here, um, along with the one unit health 91H, that's elder abuse prevention. Um, moving up to HIV and hepatitis navigation, this, um, class, this certificate or uh, area of emphasis is, uh, was formerly known as infectious disease prevention in priority populations. Um, we may have some future um, kind of contact tracing element uh, with the COVID-19 pandemic and the importance of these CHW skills. Um, here we have, uh, again, you see the chronic conditions management class, Health 67, that's HIV and hepatitis navigation. Health 91C is a one unit hepatitis A, Bs, and Cs course. Uh, and health 95, that's uh, transgender health, serving clients and communities. 
And all three of these just mentioned courses are offered uh, with start dates later this semester, if you're watching this in uh, fall 2021. All right, let's navigate over to the website and I will show you. Ooh. This is our community health worker website, which I usually find by typing in CCSF space CHW uh, into the search bar. And this website is almost certainly the first result. Again, I type in the name of the college, CCSF, with the name of our program or the acronym for our program, CHW. And there's a lot of good information here, but for the purposes of this overview today, I just wanna scroll down to suggested course schedule, which each of these tabs is activated by these side arrows. So this shows your first semester in the program, a potential uh, semester by semester schedule after taking that prerequisite class can enroll in Health 201. And then that's a good semester to take an elective class, but you may already have an elective class that um, you've taken independently from the certificate, then that can count. Uh, and then in the spring semester, we have the continuation of CHW principles and practice. And that uh, 201 and 202, those, uh, meet on Wednesday evenings from five to eight. Right now we're completely remote. Um, so those are gonna be Zoom calls, um, but we hope to go back to hybrid or partially in person when it's safe. Uh, again, then these uh, two courses, Health 203 and 203W, these go alongside uh, typically the internship that you're doing at the community or at your job site, learning new CHW skills. Um, so yeah, that's about the overview for today. I'd love to talk to you uh, in more detail about the program. My contact information is at the bottom of this page. Here I am. All right, thanks so much for visiting our YouTube channel and take good care.